All right, so I'm back out at Joseph D. Grant Park. First, let me show you around so you can kind of see what this place looks like. It's beautiful out here. It's about 80 degrees, gentle breeze, smells good, quiet, not crowded, but let me show you around. Okay, so these are the hills looking west, and there's some nice oak trees over there. Um, and then this would be looking east. Uh, this house right here with this pine tree, this could make a good painting. More on that in a moment. This, I believe, is looking south. Uh, there's some beautiful hills over there with oak trees and a trail that goes off to the di in the distance that uh, leads to those trees. I may try to paint over there today. I'm thinking that it could be cool to do some kind of vertical composition. Um, you know, where... Because I like the tree, the pattern of the tree. And I'm not sure how much I'd include, maybe run the tree off the top, um, but something like this. And then I'd have to add like a trail of some sort or some kind of interest in the grass, possibly. But um, I'm not really set up for a panel, like to paint a panel in a vertical position like this. So I'd have to make an adjust, some sort of adjustments to my easel. So maybe next time. thinking of making something of this scene right here. Uh, these fence posts, the trail, and these trees. Um, I'm gonna have to move things around uh, and I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna compose this, but I've got a 16 by 20 inch panel, uh, my usual palette of colors, and I'm gonna be using liquid as my medium. So the first idea I'm gonna try, uh, seems like the most obvious, is gonna be putting the top of the hill at about the third kind of slopes off this way and maybe I'll put the trees kind of like this there's a lighter colored tree over here that I can experiment with and then let's put these little fence posts kind of down here like that and then there's the fence going off I kind of want it to also go up like that something like that and then uh, the trail let's see the fence post would be here and the trail starts kind of comes like this I can maybe even widen it a little bit and there's a kind of a there's a, a break in the hill a slight break right there let's see if I was to go like that and then maybe have it disappear over the hill and then pick up like this maybe something like that and then of course this would all be dark I mean it's a very simple idea the only issue would be over here although there are some fence posts over on this side as well um, kind of running off like this some random um, posts so that could break that up and there's a bit of shadow cast under some of them a bit of shadow right here as well I think I want this to go, these posts, to, or yeah, these fence posts to kind of go downward. And then I can have the strokes come that way, maybe even this way up here. It's a simple idea, but I do actually like it. And I think it has a good feel to it. I'm going to tone this hill because I want some of that burnt sienna to be popping through um, the green, you know, so that I can get some uh, get some reds into this painting or oranges. And of course, I'm going to come over this with green. And as you can see, I'm not covering the whole panel. 
I'm just uh, I just want to get you know a basic um, value new color and value up there All right, so here's what I've got so far, and um, it's simple, but I think it works. Uh, I had to change the hill here. It was kind of like a perfect arch, uh, so I pushed up this portion a little bit. So it drops over to the right, um, and then it kind of levels out at the top of the hill. All right, so my camera overheated and stopped working. Uh, so I packed everything up and then I finally got it working again. So I'm gonna hike out of here. But anyway, let's go back to the studio and take a look. You know, it's surprising how challenging it is to make a simple painting or a simple, a simple design effective, to make it work. Um, I do think that there are things about this that work. Um, I, I'm not sure about the trail here, the fact that it's, I mean, you can see that there's a break in the hill, which I like. Uh, I'm not sure, I might vary, you know, this is kind of straight right here, maybe it could vary that a little bit, or maybe even vary this section here. But I like the idea of having the, you know, this trail that goes up and then it's, it's broken and continued on a distant hill. Um, and uh, I did try to suggest some of the purple flowers to create some interest. Uh, and then those could be continued down into the foreground, you know, gently suggested in the foreground. I think that could be cool. Uh, some of these shapes in here are a little bit awkward. That could be cleaned up. But this was mostly an experiment. So, you know, I've never done a composition like this, although it does remind me of a composition I've seen, uh, Christina's World by Andrew Wyeth. Although the trees would be a house and then these fence posts would be Christina Olsen, who was somebody that Wyeth painted quite a bit. Uh, and so there is a similarity there, and I'm sure that the idea kind of came from having that painting in my psyche or floating around in my consciousness or subconsciousness. Uh, but in any case, yeah, it was a fun experiment. One thing that was challenging was that because it was so warm, you know, that I couldn't, I wasn't getting the transparent effect that I like in the foreground because the paint started uh, drying up so quickly. But overall, yeah, a fun experiment for sure. Okay, so to be totally honest, this was kind of a challenging day and I did have moments where I felt kind of discouraged, uh, in particular on the walk back to the car, which was about a mile. And uh, it was, you know, really hot and 
um, you know, I kind of took a chance loading my gear, going off into the unknown, and I thought, I'll find something to paint. But it was kind of midday, so not a lot of strong shadows. And, um, but again, that can be a good challenge, but it can also sometimes be discouraging. And I, and I did, to be honest with you, have those moments. Uh, and so I was pleasantly surprised when I got home because I think the challenges of painting this painting and the long hike out there and being uncomfortable, I think affected my perception. So when I was packing it up, I thought, yeah, this just didn't work out. Plus then my camera overheated. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, uh, just, just to remind you guys that that's part of the process. Sometimes there are all those days when we get discouraged and it's challenging, but you got to keep going. And like I said, when I got home, I was actually pleasantly surprised. So it was time well spent. Anyway, as usual, let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you'd like to see some more videos and help support the channel, i got a Patreon link down below uh, so you can check that out. And uh, other than that, stay creative, and I'll see you guys in the next video.